Hi kids! Ukulele Bobby here reporting for Freebird Ukuleles and of course our long-standing friends and colleagues Mr My Ukuleles. Now today I am going to do a comparison video of two wonderful and classic ukulele tone woods and if you'd like to skip straight away to uh, the sound clips for that then check this out. Okay, so if you want to stick with me, I have got with me two almost identical ukuleles. Let's just let them catch the light there. One of them is in Hawaiian koa, and the other one, which is mine, I'm pleased to say, is uh, mahogany. Now, a lot of people write in from time to time. I see up on the forums, on the Facebook pages, uh, wanting to know what the difference is in sound and which they should buy. Now, the unfortunate answer to that is depending on what you do ukulele wise, you kind of would like to have both. Hawaiian koa is noted for being the most mellow sounding ukulele that you can get. And it is truly a beautiful sound. It's a classic sound. Uh, and then mahogany is still a lovely sound, but it is known for projecting more and having a more strident tone. So perhaps uh, you might say that it might be better for accompanying somebody that was singing with their ukulele as opposed to doing uh, mellow instrumentals. But I honestly think you need to make your own mind up uh, on, on this because you can vary strings and you can vary the mellowness of your tone with your playing as well, of course. It's not just down to the ukulele. But it is a lot down to the ukulele, I have to say. So then moving on, let's talk technical matters. I might only do this once, so I want to do quite a good job of it. It says in a lot of the books and the tutorials, a small diaphragm condenser mic. So I'm going to use a Sennheiser. This is a Soundman's microphone. But I can tell you that it's got plenty of bass and uh, pretty much responds to all the frequencies. So if you know what you're doing, you can get a great sound from this microphone. The other thing I'm going to say quickly is if I do end up going through Pro Tools, here's a look at the EQ that I'm going to be using, the Joe Meek uh, simulated vintage EQ, and it looks like this. And I'm going to use two channels of it. I'm not going to process the signal crazily, but I am going to try and make these ukuleles sound pretty good. I don't want to just leave flat response from the microphone. I'm going to just tweak them a little bit and bring out the nuances uh, that really make these ukuleles sing. I want them to sound in the video like they do to my ears. That's it really. So at last, moving on to the sound clips themselves, I'm going to do three excerpts on both the ukuleles, little passages of songs that I think are necessary to really listen to a ukulele. Uh, and I'm going to start off with uh, some nice sort of full chords where all of the strings are covered uh, and it sounds muted and rhythmic. Uh, and this is going to be I'll See You In My Dreams. Now, interestingly, with this song, when Joe Brown famously played it at the tribute concert, when George Harrison died, he played it on a mahogany stylo Martin, a vintage one, I think, uh, looking at it, which would be very similar to this. So that's score one for mahogany. However, if you research Ukulele Ike's version, uh, he's a wonderful player and uh, probably the first guy ever to play this song on uke. Uh, Cliff Edwards is his real name. If you research his version, I'm pretty sure that Cliff Edwards always played Martin Coas, or Coa Martin, should I say. And uh, I'm pretty sure he would have played that on a Martin 2K, which is what this is kind of similar to. OK, then, I'll see you in my dreams extract on the mahogany. M A eighty. quick blast of that. Okay, same section on the M80 Koa version.
Okay, next song, I'm going to play a little bit of the legendary Hawaiian tune, Yellow Bird. Uh, yeah, it's got wonderful sort of island rhythm, as I call it, and uh, the chords are a little bit more open and ringy, so it'll be nice to hear these ukes uh, with that kind of vibe. And uh, it's an opportunity for me to show off with my rasquiado thing that I've been uh, trying to perfect for ages now. Nick this off uh, AJ Leonard, who's one of my favourite players. Anyway, here goes with a bit of Yellow Bird. Okay, same again, this time on the koa. Right then, so for the last little section that I'm going to play, I am going to actually try uh, the intro to a new song that I'm working on. I was going to do a Hawaiian waltz, but it, it was too difficult. Uh, this is hard enough. And it's got Hawaiian flavours. The, the other nice thing about it uh, is it started life as an instrumental, uh, and there's lots of vibrato in there, so you can hopefully hear these ukuleles sing. Uh, and towards the back end is some ukulele hits, some drum style hits. So if that's the kind of thing that you're into, let's have a look at a listen to uh, the difference in the sound of these ukes from that point of view. So anyway, this is a little passage intro of Only You and Only Me. Slightly messed up my boss and over at the end, as you do. Okay, then switching back to the koa again for this song. So difficult, that little thing at the end. Don't tell anybody, but I'm going to cheat when it comes to recording that song. 
just for that bossa nova bit. Don't tell anyone that, will you? Okay then, folks, that's it. Uh, fairly extensive, I think, uh, sound clip comparison to show the differences between Koa ukuleles and mahogany ukuleles. Uh, you'll notice I stayed away from the whole argument over which looks the most loveliest. The most loveliest? <laughs> which look the most lovely? Uh, because, of course, it's uh, entirely down to your opinion. But these timbers do actually vary quite a bit. Uh, I, I guess Koa, more often than not, you'll see like a like a honey glaze kind of uh, texture to the timber with, with a lot of features in it, hopefully, depending on whereabouts in the tree it comes from. Uh, and with mahogany, it's quite often uh, a fair bit darker than koa. But again, that depends on the finish and things like that. And, and I think oftentimes like an old mahogany instrument, like these lovely style O's, uh, they will be a lot darker than this. This is possibly not that typical for a mahogany finish. It almost looks like like a some sort of quasi koa and I love that about it anyway so either way hopefully at some point in your life as you grow as a ukulele player and love the sound more and more you will get either one or the other or maybe even both which is what I would like to do uh, eventually because they both sound lovely depends what you're playing them for uh, you, you know depends the kind of song you're playing whether you're singing along with it and stuff I'll let you be the judge of that but hopefully you can hear in the video today uh, what you can do with this kind of weaponry. Okay, take care guys, love you all and see you very soon.